Lads, lads, and lassies, are you ready to get excited? Because we're back with more Dr. Stone. Last episode, we recruited one of Tsukasa's elites by accident, kind of. I mean, Senku did say just get someone over there. I'm sure he knew they had a guard. This guard is in the OP, and I think she's part of Tsukasa's main group of people. I think we saw like, a group shot of them last season at the end of episode 24 or 25. I can't remember. But yeah, she was part of Sukas's elite. She is not anymore, or I could be wrong in the fact that she's part of Sukas's elite. Anyway, she was on Sukas's side, not anymore. Don't remember her name. I'll probably write it down this episode. But because of the power of science, she wasn't tricked into thinking America was coming. She saw through the trick immediately. She knew that Gen was voicing Lillian. She knew she was a, such a super fan of Lillian. She could not be fooled. But because they were able to preserve one song from her. That was enough for her to just go back, and, not go back, but this is enough for her to switch sides in hopes to preserve that music for years and years and years to come. Because everything else, all music, all records, gone because they're disintegrated. Time sucks. But this one record, because of the power that, because of the power of science and Senku's dad, it was able to stay for thousands of years, and Senku has now promised her he will protect this record, and it'll move on to the future, and everyone will be able to hear Lillian's voice. And now, it's time to see how else we defeat the Kingdom of Strength. Chrome might be captured, I don't know, the hunter guy, the guy with the really good ear, uh, ear hearing? I was gonna say ear sight, that was not right. The one with the really good hearing, he is hunting him and Magma. Is Magma gonna get- I don't think they're gonna die, but I think Magma could get hurt and Chrome- Both of them could get captured, but Magma gets hurt and nerfed. Who knows? Or maybe they get captured and Magma tries to fight Tsukasa and Tsukasa just like beats Magma to a pulp. I don't know. There's only one way to find out and that's by going forward and continuing this. I'm 10 billion percent sure we'll have something amazing in this episode, lads. Sounds like you'd give your life to preserve the song. <laughs> it's exactly so what Senku well needs. <laughs> I do wonder what those tanks are. Are, oh, are they supposed to be Whatever you're bats? To do next, consider me on I just really, yeah, they're bats. Thanks so much, Niki. Jeez. It took a year, but Senku, again, pay attention. Oh, she is giving them the uh, tips. We're not in the clear, though. There's one major obstacle. I'm sure you guys know how strong Sukasa is, but he's not yes, our and. only worry. Like the he other elites. With some really powerful people. It must be a part of his grandiose vision for the world, because he's gathered lots of very capable folks from all <laughs> lots over. Lots of buff men. I mean, they don't all worship at his feet or anything like that. Okay, so she's not in the elite charisma, picture. They'll pretty much do whatever he asks of them without question. Well, there's a lot of people in there. The greatest obstacle to our plan is definitely Ukyo. Ukyo. I wonder who that is. Every time he does that, it reminds me of uh, the one character from Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, there's her listening to her music. Whatever he's doing. There's the. Oh, yeah, I think he is a military guy. And there's. The, I don't know who that is. So if we play it a bunch, we're in trouble. Oh! Then we'll just have to not play it a bunch of times. Oh, One big concert. Azukio. He's a former sonar operator. On he is sonar. Ah, I guess it's submarine. Oh, they have started a fire. What the? Chrome. I'll see to it that your death was not in vain. He's not. He's not. There's no way. Dang! Tricked him with a tree! If that's the case, why did he barely miss every shot? He wants them alive. So lucky. It's gonna be like right behind him. You were trying to save your friends with that maneuver, weren't you? The big brute and the one who took off? 
Uh, the man that understands that honor. Smoke cleared, I would have had no choice but to shoot the meathead. Pretty impressive decision making in the heat of the moment. You should consider it a win. Uh, yeah, you don't say. No, 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 no. He's trying to flatter us all <laughs> talk. We're here. Oh, Chrome's gonna meet Sukasa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My name's Crone. I'm a scientist from Ishigami Village. Oh, uh, don't introduce yourself as a scientist to him. Get back here, right now, Lioness. Lioness. <laughs> Whoa, she, she stopped. stopped. Father, let me go. Don't be a fool. You think you can charge into enemy territory all by yourself? If she can't do it on her own, then how about all of us go together? <laughs> That's a big gamble. We all go. Senku and his gambles. Kingdom of Science is mobilizing our army. So let's move out and set up camp near the Sukasa Empire. Okay. From there, we'll have a better shot at bringing Chrome back in one piece. Camp Assault. I would say leave a guard for her. Maybe leave... No, don't leave him. She'll probably seduce him. No. I can't carry it there. What then? That's what I built this for, a whole carriage. Oh? A wheel, yep. We're gonna make a car! Here we go! You don't have to make a car. Get excited, everyone. Yeah, I mean, of course I'm excited, but I'm amazed how you can still manage to have this kind of fun given the circumstances. I love that Gein's, like, think thought process of this is, like, a real... 2000s car. That's half the episode? It's like a real 2000s car. It's more likely going to be like a carriage. Is that so Maybe an automated, crazy, like, like automated carriage. So it's like 10 billion times more primitive than what I used to use in my old model rockets. But it'll work for what we need. It'll run on a yeah, look how it is. <laughs> We had to gather it in order to make plastic for the cell phone. And got attacked by a ton of bees. It was the Erst way. Oh, Ginro. Like human marshmallows after that. Boiling that honeycomb down into a block gives us beeswax. Hmm. Uh, like a candle? That's thick. That is really big. They used to make crayons and lipstick and stuff. The wax just seems so fragile and brittle to me. Will it really work? Yeah, it won't be a millimeter. Yeah, once you like harden it, right? We'll use plaster no. to form a mold around the parts we make from wax. And then pour melted brass into the mold. Oh, so it's a mold. Parts. Cool. We're putting the whole stove on the car. Pretty simple. Oh, really. just heat up some water. The engine. And you've got steam. Mm -hmm. so Steam-powered car. We're gonna attach the little part you just built right there on the end. The steam will push it downward. Works like a reverse pump. <laughs> I love Kasuki. Yes. You guys are having the time of your lives over there, aren't you? I'm sure they're taking good care of him as a hostage. As long as he keeps his mouth shut, he'll Hard be Hard cut. <laughs> but it's Chrome. Yeah, he's not going to keep his mouth shut. As long as he keeps his mouth shut, he'll be fine. But it's Chrome. She said it twice. Hmm? Yeah, he's totally getting beaten up. Let's pick up the pace. So why did you make the decision to tell me that you're a scientist? Come on, man. Senku you should have known. The situation. So I'm sure that you know that was quite a risky move. You bet I do. And I know that you're a science-hating jerk. Sounds like you need to be taught a lesson. Maybe. No, Chrome, what are you... And I can teach you how cool science is. We've got rainbow flames. Chrome, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> oh man crap it's not that i'm completely opposed to a scientific civilization i mean we have fire and tools here of course those are excellent ways to use science yeah, excellent ways you have no idea how things were before it's why we need restraint restraint he says as he like destroys oh, countless human statues for some reason if you bring us senku's head I promise you'll have all the colored fire and science tricks. To colored keep fire. <laughs> I guarantee that all the people in your village will be safe. 
That is, that I would is not trust that spear. See, right? Just drop me. Hurry it up. So be it. How's your science gonna save you, man? Yeah, right. He was willing to die, though. He wasn't even screaming. Even in the face of death, he never flinched to lost conviction. Oh my god, he's so strong! What the? That is just... Bridge? There's no point in pushing him any further. Where did you find him again? Oh man, damn it, this is bad! Shit! Will really he tell the truth? Shit. He was at the Miracle Cave, just scouting it out all by himself. I'll bet he's after the nitric acid. What's going on? Huh. Why would he lie to Hyoga and Tsukasa? What's he up to? Oh. Okay, we built a, a car in an episode. All we gotta do to assemble it is weld it together. What is this thing? It is ugly. Thank you, one. It's like we built a living how, creature. How big is it? It's incredible. Okay, so that's the engine. A living creature, huh? So like, what's it gonna like? You can't fit everyone on that. That that is simply the engine. This is a cart. I guess it's a primitive truck, maybe. It's finally here. We're in the industrial revolution. It's this train. Yeah, that that's that's a lot better uh, analogy. Oh, I love this little Suika's like outfits. Ma why does Magma look so cool and everything he's in? Of science railway line. Okay, so this episode, we got some interesting character tidbits. And a really cool thing from Chrome. I'm just going to say, like, the car... We we built a car in an episode. It's probably the fastest thing that we... Um, did we build ramen in an episode? I think we did. We did cotton candy in an episode, too. I feel like the car is the most complex thing that we built in an episode. And it took one episode to do it. Granted, the pacing of this season, we don't really have time to uh, linger upon the car. Uh, we, we could take a whole season to build the car, or half a season really, just like the cell phone, but we, can't, we, we don't got that time right now. Chrome is in danger, but not really. The car, I, I just want to mention it because, yes, we did build a car. It's more like a train, really, the steam engine. And I was thinking this is like a truck kind of, no, the steam engine is a lot more of a fitting analogy. And I really love the the panning shot of everyone in their 1800s steam engine attire. Suika looks adorable. Magma has got drip. He looks great in everything that they they they, they gave him the uh, the samurai outfit. He looks great in his normal outfit. He looks amazing in the 1800s tuxedo. Like whew, magma makes anything work. We, we have an automobile, and it's probably just gonna pull along all of the, what, like, the science stuff? I mean, it's, it's, you just need to build, I guess you don't need to build tracks, but how do you steer that thing? I did not see any wheel. We'll, find, we'll probably find out next episode. But going on to the more interesting character-related stuff, we know the name of Ukyo, which is the, the archer, and he wants to... Not switch sides, but it seems that Tsukasa might have a rebellion going on. He doesn't have everyone's trust or everyone's complete cooperation. And they were like, um, what's her name? Miki was saying that it's not like they're all buddies or that they all 100% trust each other. They just all kind of share something. It seems that Ukyo might not share something, especially since he was a submarine operator. He might love technology or maybe he has a dream that is heavily tied into science. Much like how Senku wants to go to space. You can't do that if the world stays in the Stone Age. Maybe he has a dream of like mapping out the entire ocean or something like that. And that's why he wants to maybe join... Not join Senku's team, because he probably would have just let Chrome go. But maybe take over the Empire's strength and remodel it. 
to his own. I don't. It's an interesting character choice. I really like him. He's um, oh, he's very flattering. But I was gonna say, I wrote down submarine. I literally guessed last episode. Like I don't know. I was like, I don't know what he's doing. It just, I saw him like listening to something. I think it's like it looks kind of like a submarine. I I can't believe I got that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just sit here, watch TV, and spit out my thoughts. I was like, I can't believe out of everything that was what I got right. Cause that could that he could be anywhere in that room. Very good thing he was not in the submarine when the the stoning happened, when the petrification happened. Very good thing. But he's really flattering, especially to Chrome. And of course, he wanted probably wanted Chrome to talk. But it is interesting that he lied. Like what? Is Chrome correct in the sense that uh, Ukio wants to create a revolution within the Sukasa Empire, or is Ukio after something else? Definitely, he's after the fall, the potential fall of Sukasa, and he doesn't want to kill anyone. That's the interesting thing too. Sukasa also does not seem to want to have uh, meaningless bloodshed. Uh, but going to Ukio, he was talking when he captured Chrome, saying like, "Oh, if the smoke cleared, I would have had no choice but to kill the brute," which means he's not opposed to it, but of course he didn't want to do it. He could have killed. Magma anytime he wanted to. All he really needed was one of them to get information. And he let Magma go too. It's not like he caught both of them so they can torture one and like they could do the classic scene of like, no, don't torture him, I'll tell you everything. It wasn't even that. He let him go. And he also said that they were alone. Or like Mag or not all these names. That Chrome was exploring alone. So what is Ukio's deal? And they were saying in the, the very beginning of this episode, like, Nikki was saying that Ukio would be their biggest obstacle, that he would know. But if they're able to, if they, this is the big thing. communication is key in war. If they're able to communicate and find out that Ukio is also after Sukasa's downfall, maybe they're not on the same team per se. Maybe Ukio doesn't want Sanku to take over, but you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And then after they take out Sukasa, they can go after it. U Ukio, or like the two factions could go against each other, but it is interesting. It's interesting that the their greatest threat could also potentially become their greatest ally. This is the reason why. Why does he want Sukasa to fall? Maybe he's not. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't think Sukasa is as based as he is. It is also um, cool to see that Sukasa is. Very different worldviews. Like Senku focuses on the all the bright sides of science. And Senku tells Chrome all the amazing things that science has done, and Tsukasa tells Chrome of all the horrendous things that science has led to. And I like that Tsukasa is not like, no, we'll never use science. He goes, oh, well, we use science. We have we use fire and tools. That's, that's science. <laughs> like, he just doesn't want advanced science. But he understands the importance that science has. And then he's like, oh god, Chrome. It's like, um, let me I will amaze you with the wonders of science. We have colored fire! And then Sukasa goes, if you join us, you can have all the colored fire and science you want. I just love that he's like, yeah, that's that's as far as they are, huh? <laughs> now he knows that they're further, but this guy. <laughs> I should have started with the ramen. I feel like if you started with the ramen, you might have gotten the spear guy on your side. Uh, who knows? Who, who knows? But it seems that the spear guy is very much buddy buddy with Sukasa, and maybe Sukasa is keeping Ukio close because he noted he he sees the potential. Of, uh, maybe, I'll keep you know, keep your friends close, but your enemy's closer. He sees the potential of. Yeah, he's a really good listener. He's a good spy, but he's also he's also a danger. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Sukasa doesn't actually trust Ukio as much as he does. But Sukasa did save Chrome's life after endangering it, and Chrome was going to go out like a man. He was going to go out like a badass. He said, "Drop me," and they dropped him. The man didn't even scream. He had no plan. He was just dying for the cause. He was just letting himself fall down that ravine, and Sukasa recognized that. And even though he recognizes that, and he knows Chrome will not talk, 
He knows Crumb won't say anything. He still saved him. He still decided to save him, which is an interesting choice. Especially since Chrome is the thing that Sukasa fears. They're not like exactly. Sukasa fears the world that science can potentially bring. And Chrome is proof that no matter what you do, people will always go to science and people will always find a way to start experimenting with science. It's very interesting that Sukasa decided to spare his life. Like, neither side wants too much bloodshed. Zuka says willing to do the bloodshed, but he doesn't want to go too far down in, into it. It's very interesting. Very interesting what these characters are up to. And just why I like them a lot. Like, Zuka is not just this plain old murderer. Like, he has his beliefs, he has his goals, but he also doesn't want to really do it. He wants, he says he'll stay in his hands so everyone else can live a happy life. But he's not willing to go full-on madman, joker-esque. He is... He wants to build a peaceful utopia within the stone world. And I really do get it, like... We've done some horrible things with technology. We've done some horrible things with science. There's also a lot of great things with science, too. It's very... If only him and Senku... They were able, were able to, like, combine their worldviews... And they could work together to make sure... That the old world doesn't happen again. But you're able to make a new world that's better than the old one, instead of having to war it out. If they were able to do that, they would be such an incredible and unstoppable team. But alas, we have Dr. Stone, and the assault begins. Oh, this episode was called the, the Assault, or something like that. I think the Assault begins, but it, it was the beginning of the Assault. Uh, we got a, a steam engine, and now we're all going towards the Sukasa Empire, the Empire of Strength. Next episode, will we save Chrome? Where's Chrome being held? What is Ukio up to? And will Ukio and Niki conf like confer and go, wait, you we, we want to you, you want to bring Sukasa? I don't want to bring Sukasa down. Can we do it together? Like, it's very interesting what all this entails. How much does Ukio truly know? With that great like hearing of his, how much does he really know? Does he know or has he known that Taiju and Yuzuriha? have been working for Senku this entire time? That's an interesting question too. Who knows, next episode might give us some more answers and that's where I'll be going now. So while you wait for next week, lads, you can hit that notification bell, you can hit the subscribe button and you can hit the like button. Tell me down below in the comments below. When when you were first watching this, um, what was it, last year, beginning of this year? When you were first watching this, were you, were you as surprised to find that Ukyo was also kind of a little shady, a little slim shady? Or were you seeing it coming? I don't know. But yeah, if you want to see the next episode, Patreon's always down below for early access. And while you wait, if you can't afford Patreon, that's alright. Just subscribe, that's all the support we need. And while you wait, you can check out Gurren Lagun, Darling the Franks, Kill a Kill, Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man. There is so much anime out there, and we don't even do just anime on this channel. We've done, like, um, I've just said the stuff that I do, uh, but like, I've got the, the buddies, the rest of Jam, the, the rest of the lads doing, like, the Disney Plus Star Wars stuff, Marvel stuff. My Hero Academia gone through with Micaiah. A ton of stuff on the channel, so check that out. We'll see you next week for more Dr. Stone Lads.